Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of January 21st to the 27th. We begin with the lovers in the past position. This card typically represents choices, relationships, and unions. In the past, this card suggests a pivotal moment or a decision that may have been related to love and relationships. It could signify a significant romantic relationship, a choice between two paths, or a deeper connection with oneself. This card may indicate a period of self-discovery or a crucial decision that has influenced your journey at this point. It could be saying that in your past you enjoyed a supportive and loving relationship, which set the foundation for your current sense of groundedness and well-being. Whether you are single now or not, the benefits of that bond are, are still with you. This experience has given you what you need to proceed wisely going forward. We have the Two of Wands in the present position. This card often symbolizes planning, personal power, and making decisions about the future. In the present position, this card suggests that you are currently at a crossroads. Maybe considering your options and, and contemplating your next steps, your next move. It's really a card of vision and ambition and taking control of your destiny. You may be in the process of setting goals for yourself or embarking on a new venture of some sort. And the key is to trust your instincts and to take bold action, this card is saying. When this card is in the present position, you're feeling on top of the world and, and in charge. There is a strong possibility that you were recently given some new level of authority and you are embracing this as a sign of success. In the future position, we have the death card. And it's always good to remember that this doesn't represent a literal death. Instead, this card signifies transformation and change and rebirth. So it's a much more positive card than it may look. Um, in, in the future position, this card suggests a significant and inevitable transformation or transition on the horizon for you. So it could indicate the end of a phase or situation, and this ending is, is making way for new beginnings for you. Try to embrace this change with openness and courage, this card is saying, as this change is likely to bring positive growth for you and a fresh perspective. It's a card that encourages letting go of the old to welcome the new. So. In the near-term near future, there might be the impending end of a close relationship or a previously strong relationship or friendship, or perhaps a job that you thought was secure isn't as stable as you thought. Whatever it is that's coming to an end, it may be time for a situation that was no longer serving you to come to an end. Death always brings an ending with the purpose of bringing something new into play. So this is really telling a story of, of profound personal growth and transformation right here. The lovers in the past indicates a crucial relationship or a decision that has shaped your journey. And the Two of Wands in the present suggests that you are currently in a position of power, actively planning and, and considering your future. The Death card in the future position reassures that a significant and, and positive transformation is in store. And this will be marking the end of some kind of old chapter and the beginning of a new, more evolved phase for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot card. This is a card of, of triumph and determination and also of control. It often represents a journey 
or the successful navigation of challenges through sheer willpower and, and focus. In the context of your reading, the chariot as the clarifying card suggests that the transformative journey indicated by the death card in the future position is going to require a strong sense of purpose and determination from you. This card emphasizes the need to stay focused on your goals and maintain control over your emotions and desires. It encourages you to harness your inner strength and confidence to overcome any obstacles in your path. The chariot indicates that the upcoming changes may not always be easy, but with determination and a clear vision, which you have up up at the top of the card here, you do have a clear vision. You can navigate through these changes very successfully. So the chariot as the clarifying card really reinforces the themes of determination and control in this journey of transformation that's happening. It suggests that as you face the challenges indicated by the death card, maintaining a sense of purpose and really staying focused is going to be crucial because this is not just a, a passive transformation that's happening here. This requires active participation and a driving force within you. The chariot assures you that with the right mindset and determination, you have the power to steer your life in the direction you desire, overcoming any challenges along the way. And something I was noticing when I laid your cards out is in three of these cards, we have a figure up at the top, kind of looking down at the other figures in the cards. And this is really reinforcing that idea of you needing to step into some kind of power position in your current situation. You really need to take control of this change that's happening. And all of these cards indicate that you absolutely will be able to. And stepping into that role of the power position in your own life, being that main character in your own life, is going to be crucial right now. You have to be an active participant in this change that's happening in your life. Well, Aries, that is your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.